Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting continuation of our full project walkthrough, we're going to be taking a look at some client revisions. Uh, I sent the version that we just rendered in the last version off to Becky, and she said that she liked it a lot. Just wanted to add some titles with some sort of B-roll stuff at the end. So I've got a text with uh, some of the stuff that she wants in there, um, basically just sort of credits, and then she wants like B-roll of the session in the back. And I think we can I think we can accommodate that. So let's just go to our Blackmagic Cinema camera. And this clip looks good. I got mine. All right, and we'll just put some random ones in here. Let's arm an audio track. Oop, let's create an audio track. Uh, whatever. Yeah, make sure we arm one. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. That fades out, and then here we will fade up. Control Shift D. And there'll be some titles over this, and let's see. And just look for some halfway interesting stuff. Put one of those in there, maybe. Um, we won't have audio there. We will put our song audio back in, which is under audio. And what we will do with this is find like a chorus or something. This looks good. And we will make this uh, like minus 12. Uh, our previous track is already at minus 10, so it won't be as much of a difference. And we will radio effect this. So EQ. Uh, this will probably be fine. And edit this, and we will basically cut the highs and lows. Oh, I've got to turn them on. So yeah, up to like... I don't know, 400, something ridiculous. Yo. Oh, come on, bro. You should be working. Screw you. If you're not going to work, I'll use an EQ that will. So we will go to our isotope EQ. And we will make this. This is a VST that I've installed from Audio Stuff. If you... Um, need more plugins? You can install VSTs, fun fact. And goodness, why can't I? I want a high pass and I want a, no, I want a flat. And bring this up to about there. I'm not sure what I was saying, something about installing third-party plugins, but Isotope is a cool one. A lot of people use it. It's got good stuff in it. Recommend uh, low pass, flat. I don't need any of this other garbage on. Maybe we won't have this on. Oh, <laughs> I forgot this was an A DAW thing. Uh, and I guess we really should. And we will make fades because this part doesn't matter. 
Oh, that is a gross fade. Sweet. And also what I'm going to do, I'll do this later on. But I'm going to eventually put like some time codes. So people know even more. It's like behind the scenes. We'll do some pocket camera stuff. This isn't very interesting. Uh, yeah, that's not a very flattering shot. Uh, maybe before this. That's cute. Yeah, we'll definitely keep that. We don't need these audio tracks anymore. Sweet, watch the yo. Was I in the shot this whole time? Gosh darn it. Hopefully not. Anyway, that should be enough for some titles. Hopefully. If not, I will add some more. Yo. Oh, I guess I don't have enough stuff. Um, probably on this end some, and on this end some, and control D, that guy, yeah, and we will move this guy, shift five, when I was first learning Premiere, I thought, you know, no one in their right mind would ever learn those shortcuts, little did I know. I'm not in my right mind. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I need like time code and I'll just pop this on all three of these. If you're smart, you'd select them all or do a paste attributes or something. Um, oh, I gotta move. Okay. So it looks like I will be doing a paste attributes. Because mm -hmm, I'm pretty sure I can yep, move this. Boop. And look, now everyone will know how behind the scenes we are. Whatever that means, just <laughs> Let's see. No, I like Simpty better. Uh, did you do? Yep, that'll be fine. Just make something dumb. Uh, and then Control C and paste attributes. Don't need any of those. Yo, bro. Oh, because I moved it. All right. That's my bad. It's not what I want. This is what I want. I really don't like them fading, but I guess they should. Make the fade's a little bit shorter. And then we'll add another fade out. Just copy this one, but make it a little bit shorter because people don't care. Cool. And we will fade this out. We'll just do a normal one. Yeah, fade it in. This one just a smidgen longer. Boop, 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 boop. Didn't know you were getting a concert, dude. Ha, 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 Okay, and now we'll just add some quick little titles. We'll call this end. End. Okay. I should, probably should have named that end 01, but oh well. Um, do, do, do. We'll do some hipster text type stuff. 
Uh, I knock out by Becky Kinder. How do actual people put that? I always forget. Is it the artist names first and then the... Um, this is a crazy video if you haven't seen it, by the way. Um, boom, boom, boom. Ellie Goldine, yeah. Then, so we'll do Becky Kinder. That's how you spell your name, right? Boop, 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 boop. K-I-N-D-E-R, yep. And then, dash. And that will be one title. We'll make that... Medium and center that up and bring it here and then hold down alt and drag and oh, at the front you want that and then at the back uh, available on iTunes now. I wish you'd send me this in an email. If you're an artist and you're wanting people to put titles on your video, send them in an email so you can just copy and paste. Pro tip. Um, <laughs> so we will rename this to being front title. And I will make it something like that and make this. No, we will make it backwards. Uh, home, control V, enter, and then we will make this Gotham Light. There's a reason why whenever I need design work, I work with actual designers. Because there's one thing that I can only fake so far. Boom, put that at the beginning. How it is. Begin title, hit tilde. Yo, oh, that's escape. Uh, intro is something that we didn't even end up using. Graphics. Graphics. Nice. And then go back to the beginning. Begin title, put it there, do this thing. And I want it to be pretty much fading out by there. Give it a little bit more time. And we will set our own keyframes because we are snobs. And we have spent way too much of our life inside of After Effects. Oh, that's a little bit too short. Come on, Theo. Get your head in the game. Ooh, what if I put that in the center of the screen? That might be cooler. I bet it won't be, though. I bet you dollars that it won't be. If I put it in like the very center? No, that's too small. It shouldn't be big. No, that looks bad. Jeez Louise, Theo. Why can't you design? This is why you didn't do it before. I liked how it was before. Better. I didn't like it, but at least it worked. Cool. And now we will... Fun fact. If you click on this little button, do title based on current title, name this end, and then it makes you a new title based on your current title. So it basically just duplicates your title and is an easy way of doing that. I just had my phone hit my 
touch screen monitor, super fancy. Um, and now we have like this paragraph of text we have to actually type out. Oh, what a drag. Used a semicolon. Someone is educated. I don't think I like this initial cap stuff. Uh, we'll take a look at it. I have to wait all the way till April. Jeez Louise. Uh, we'll do that on a different slide. I do not like the semicolon. Available on iTunes now. Well. And we will make these center and more center and then up a little bit. Um, <laughs> like this, and a one. No, bring this over here. Make it something like this. Whoa, trunk eight. And we'll make this fade up. And then we'll have those two titles fade between each other. By two titles, I mean this next one we're going to make also. So, boop. Oh, I don't want that. This is a handy thing to do, though. I should make a tutorial on roll crawl options because when I was first starting out, like all those years ago, that was something that really intrigued me. Uh, so this will be by Percussion. And I have a thing about against like crediting myself in my work because I hate it whenever directors do that like obnoxiously. Like I have nothing against like getting credit for the stuff I do. I'm proud of the stuff I do. But there's so many videos out now that it's just like, especially like music video stuff. And I just hate it so much because it takes me out of the video. We're like, oh, but I'll be like, you know, this beautiful like landscape shot, super, sh you know, sharp, you know, aerial of like snowy mountains and like a herd of caribou. And then like the next shot will come up and we'll just be like a black screen, be like directed by, you know, stupid director name here. You know, I'm just like, shut up dick like let me watch your video so anytime i do i'll just have like a little thing at the bottom i did a music video a while back and i had i've i've given myself big nasty credits before and i just never like it um but yeah that's just me being a stupid hipster it is a much better idea to give yourself gigantic amounts of credit so people think that you're really cool but you know hopefully i'm i don't know I don't know. That's just that's just personal preference, I guess. Here, that was gross. I'll we'll hit N and make these fade together. And we will do this typical thing that I do whenever I don't feel like adding a drop shadow. We will add in some more black video. 
And is it under the opacity tab? Oh, nice. Ah, oh, dang it. Is there a quick way? I never use this feature and I totally should. But, oh well. Whoa, 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 let me edit it. So we're to make it snap. You know what? That is a dumb way of doing it, Theo. Uh, motion, scale, uniform scale turned off. Scale width. And no, I want that out. Height. Something like that. And opacity. Something like that. Maybe we will have it just like drop out. That could be cool. Perhaps. This has got to be recentered. Uh, boop. Have I been recording for that long? Jeez. I didn't even get to take a look at this. That looks pretty bad. Um, what if I took away these dissolves? Because I really hate dissolves. Just because when I was first starting out, I way overused them. Nah, I'm going to keep them in there. Um, maybe we'll have them fade out sort of like this. And then fade back up. I just don't like whenever text like fades over each other and doesn't blur. And I don't feel like keyframing a blur. I say that now and I'll probably end up keyframing a blur. Cool. Uh, do, 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 do. Bump this guy up, move this guy over, and this guy over some. And we'll take a look at that. That's funny. That should stay. Uh, and I'm thinking that looks pretty good. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this full project walkthrough. That should be the end. If I get more revisions, I'll make another one. But for now, I think that should be good. Um, I will post a link to this final video whenever it goes live on my various social platforms, links for which are in the description below. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Subscribe to Meesner Media. Share this video with your friends, etc., etc. I hope you've enjoyed another run of a full project walkthrough. Sort of, it's, it's like a let's play, but for post-production, which is why this video series is called Let's Play Post-Production. Anyway, once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye.